Hey my loves and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, hi, you are so welcome to the channel. My name is Deborah Bombs and I share a natural hair content as well as general hair content basically. So in this video, we're going to be trying out this hairstyle that I've been seeing everywhere on social media, on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. And it's the zigzag cornrow hairstyle, right? So it's a challenge. It was a challenge for me actually because usually... I just do one cornrow and that's that's the best I can do if you can relate let me know because that's honestly the best I can do so um, this was a challenge and I, it was a bit complicated but I promise to walk you guys through on the steps that I took to achieve mine currently what I just did was to basically create um, two sections one at the back which we're gonna handle later and then the front section so what I would advise here is make sure that your parts are clean um, it might not be perfect but try to get it to a place where it is near perfect because when your parts are clean that's how your hairstyle comes out looking neat flawless and beautiful and all of that okay so the first thing that I did here was to basically create the first part so because we're doing like a zigzag pattern um, I needed to start from one end and then progress all the way to the other end that's why the part is gonna look like this um, take as much as you can I did four sections but it depends on you and what you can handle so I did four sections so once you're done getting that section in you want to now take out the other section just so that it doesn't interfere um, in the way of this part you're gonna braid down okay you can also feel free to take some shine and jam just to make sure that your parts are clean and just apply that along the parts or the line that you've made and then as you guys know I love to use shine and jam so I'm just applying that on the sides of the hair and then using this hard bristle brush just to slick it down and this way it gives me like a sleek look okay so now we'll then go into the cornrow part so you're cornrowing from one end all the way to the end to begin you need three strands of hair grab three three strands from the front and then just intertwine them picking from both sides i do have a much more detailed tutorial quickly dedicated to cornrows so you can check that one for a more detailed tutorial on how to cornrow your hair so basically what we're doing here is pinching hair and grabbing hair from both sides and you really just want to follow the motion all the way till the back while grabbing hair from the back that's how you make a con for the purpose of this video i'm gonna explain with this clip just because this is the whole essence of this video right the corner section feel free to brush your hair as you go on just so that you can get a good grip so I like to describe these as pinching motions so whatever is in the middle you're just going to be working with that so take that middle section send it back pinch okay take the middle section send it back pinch on the other side so you're pinching on opposite sides as to what you're sending backwards if that makes sense so take that middle section pinch take the middle section out pinch on the other side take that middle section send it back and pinch on this side take that middle section send it back paint on the other side so once you keep doing this repeatedly and while also grabbing hair when i say pinch i basically mean grab some hair from both sides okay so um, when you grab hair that's how you send the braid towards the back and that's how you form a cornrow again i have a detailed tutorial that explains this very well so please check it out but um i hope that the visuals would also help in getting the motions and how your hand needs to move in order to braid your hair okay so i hope this is helpful and i hope this helps explain how to get a cornrow done it's pretty easy with a little bit of practice trust me you need to practice to get it um, but I hope you get it right okay so feel free to add some edge control if you still want to just so that everything looks sleek and um, yeah so this is what it's looking like right I did go ahead to clean my parts after this braid um, because I kind of got some sections in from the other section or some hair from the other section so i went in with my comb and then i cleaned it out so it was looking much better than this um but yeah that's how i got the first braid in and i'm gonna let you guys watch how i got the other ones in and also braid all the way to the end we'll talk the braids in somehow 
um, further down the video but that's how we cut the first section in. So once you're done with the first section, the other section will start somewhere around the middle part of the first section and then go all the way to the opposite side remember we're doing a zigzag pattern so create your part from the middle of the first section you've already braided down and then send it to the opposite side like backwards if that makes sense so you're going to start braiding from the middle somewhere around the middle of this first section and then braid all the way to the back So once we're done with the first section, we're going to create one last section just so that we can use that to cover the clipping extensions we're going to clip at the back. So we have the back section and we have this tiny bit of section here that is going to cover the clipping extensions, okay? So these are the extensions that I'm using today. I think this is from Natural Girl Wigs. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure, but I think this is from Natural Girl Wigs. And so we're going to just be clipping that to the back. Um, with clippings, all you need to do is just, you know, like clip it in. That's, that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead, clip this in, use as much as you want. If you want it full, you can go for more volume. If you want it really scanty, you can do that as well. Yeah, I went for like a scanty, um, natural look. I didn't want it to look too full. Um, so use as much wefts as you need just to get the perfect look for you. So I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but trust me, it, it gets better. Just stay with me, okay? So we're going in with some water and we're just going to spritz that because basically you need to wake up the curls. These clippings have just been sitting there for a couple weeks, so you need to wake up the curls and get it looking all fluffy and curly and all of that you can see the difference when you like wet it and when you don't wet it so use some water and just spray it on that just so that you can wake up the curls okay so now i'm going in with some hair mousse again this helps to activate the curls so use as much as you can or as much as you want and just apply that on the clippings right so it helps to define the curls So now we've gotten to this section. If you notice, I did not use mousse or water on this section. This is because I did not want it to shrink. Tell me why this hair still went ahead to shrink. Like, <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting this hair to shrink. It wasn't blending, which trust me is normal if you're doing your hair things might not go as planned but you always want to be able to twist things to your advantage so the next thing i had to go get my revlon blow dryer so i blowed it out a little bit just so that i could get like a stretched look and then try to just um blend that into the clipping So when I was done stretching, this is what we we're looking like. So all I had to do was just try to blend that into the clippings. Um, the texture was a bit different, but um, by the time you blend it and then bring part of the clippings on top of your hair, then you can get like a more seamless blend. So as you guys know, I love to do my edges and I'm using my hair wax here just to define my edges. I love a good um, edge control that you know gets my edges in shape and this is the one that i always use so i'm just doing my edges here and then once i'm done with that i go on to tie that down because it helps with sleeking everything down together 
okay so this is the moment of truth and this is the part where we take it out and this is what it's looking like so um because everything just you know squashed my hair we had to wake everything up so this is me again trying to fluff everything out together i took some of my bobby pins and then just used that to um secure the braids the ends of the braids in between um you know like somewhere at the back right so this is what the blend is looking like okay so you can see um the blend with my natural hair um you cannot see the wefts from the clippings and you can see how it blended into the clippings now if you're feeling like it you can go in and add some gold accessories i added some gold accessories to kind of mask away the the parts from the hair because um if you notice the parts were not exactly um perfect which is okay like i said it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be near perfect so um i kind of used some gold accessories to just um take your mind off the parts okay that's that was my intention so it's not so obvious but this is this is it this is the finished look let me know what your thoughts are do you prefer it with gold accessories or would you just rather wear it without the gold accessories let me know your thoughts i feel like i like with the gold accessories because gold accessories have always been my thing um but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section and if you'll be trying this out but this is the finished look and this is how i was able to achieve this hairstyle i hope this was helpful if it was please give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new like this video if you enjoyed it comment down below your thoughts and i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching